Hello, I'm here for a layout that is titled Dad's Kitten. And I have, I'll start with my paper. It come from Dogs and Cats, as I have been using for my cat and dog layouts. Sorry, I had to yawn. Okay. Um, let's see here what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. So, anyway. I used three different patterns because I used some scraps. I used the green polka dot. I used so yeah. I used this one and uh, the other one isn't on here, but it's. The di it has diamonds with dots in the middle of it. Actually, I might have a scrap. Let me see. It, well, here's a small scrap. It looks like that. I've used it in a few other other layouts as photo mats or main background page, etc., etc., etc. All right. And my bulldog is probably going to end up bumping my camera. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I did... I was going to show you my page map. <laughs> I did. I did. I'm try laying this down this time not to lose my... My, my eye. Alright, this is the one I did. This is actually the one that I had written down to do with skip odor versus tree but I ended up doing the wrong one so I'm gonna use and I actually end up using dad's kitten uh, page map for skid loader so I'm gonna use the skid loader one for the so you're gonna see my borders on my page I actually use paper for here and here all right and then I have Oh, I thought I did not No, I guess I didn't. I was thinking, maybe that's a different page I used that other paper for, for in the center. But I didn't do a center, I did the bottom. How did I do it? Okay, anyway. Race go! Go! Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness, I might have to blow my nose. My nose is running. Okay. At any rate, me get back out. Okay. So let's see here. This is the polka dotted one is three inches. And well I know what these are. These are half an inch. And then where the two meet, I put a red, like a it's a kind of a deep red brad. Alright. I apologize for my sniffling. Oops, I need my page map open. Oh my goodness. I have it on my gypsy, but my gypsy's over by my... It's next to me by my cricket, so I'll just leave it over there and do it this way. Alright. So, I have my... My pictures are not matted. Actually, that isn't the one I'm using either. Hold on a minute. Dad's. Oh, Dad's cat. Which one did I look at? Oh, that's actually my cute one. That is that I used with that one that I showed you. This one is February seven. February two thousand seven, number eight. So let me go back to two thousand seven. February. Ah, here we go. <laughs> it is actually. Uh, where is it? Mm, this one. And I don't have a big, a big photo. So what I did is I just used half of that as for my jur for my journaling instead, but. So I have a bottom piece that's three inches, and then this is actually ribbon, but I use just used half inch strips of a different pattern paper. And where the two meet, I put a brad. It actually has another small strip here, 
But I didn't like how it looks, so I skipped that part. All right. So, here we go. Just as extra reinforcements in case I need it open. Let me see, I don't think. Um, Dad's kitten. Okay. Yeah, good thing. I have them over Ah, oh, zip it, please. So, this one, oh, actually, let me show. Let me zoom in. I use my So Easy. So I use my So Easy and I have stitched. Oh, zip it. And here you can see, here you can see my holes, but I didn't stitch there because my picture's going to go there. And so then I finished it off here. Alright. And I don't remember. Let me see, I don't remember exactly the name of that particular one I used. It is, but I have it right here, it is, hmm, I don't see, Stitch Piercer Burst, is that what it's called? Shush it. Maybe that is what it's called. Blanket. So yeah, it's um, burst. Stitch piercer burst. Okay. And then I used floss that you use for sewing. Because I just happened to have that handy. And what I did, I just cut um, six strips of the same length. And just put it together. So that's how I did that. Okay. Because it was one of those I just had to have the so easy so I could sew my pages and then I don't sew on my pages. I'm like, you know what, I need to use it. So I did on this layout to sew where the papers meet. Alright, so my picture is gonna go down here. And then I have another picture which is gonna angle here. And huh. actually, I wonder if I had this. I don't remember because it was messed up when I did it, so, so I don't remember. Well, it seems like I was having that underneath there. Which is not glued here, and this was slipped under there. I don't remember how this is going to go. Maybe if I have it like this. And then I'll just have to stick a ribbon on it. Ah, oh, zip it. Because. Well, maybe I can fit it on here. We'll figure something out. Okay, and then this goes. Isn't that cute? That's such a cute picture. My dad is like anti-animals in the house. He he let he does let his German Shepherd Lola in the house now and again. Anyway, and so he found these two kittens. If kittens are born in the wintertime, the Ep and I watch chances are they're not gonna survive. <laughs> chances are they're not gonna survive. And my dad found these two kittens and my dad found these two kittens and so he took them in and they were I mean not good at all and he took them in and let them in the house <laughs> I was like shocked because here's another one of him playing with my dad's finger he was so darn cute anyway when we were kids and we had cats or kittens we always were there we were the ones that named them you know, butterscotch. Um, I had one that was named Nico. Um, let's see here. What else? Butterscotch, Nico. You know, different, anyway, different normal animal names. Wow. <laughs> we don't live at home anymore. And so my dad was allowed to name them himself. Well, this particular cat 
he felt was stupid. So, that is its name, stupid. The other one he thought was ugly. So, that one is named ugly and he is actually the next layout I have um, in my drawer. So, you will see him next. But anyway, yeah. So, my dad named him in stupid and ugly and he'll even and he refers to him as that. Oh yeah, I saw Stupid the other day and I haven't seen Ugly in a while. I don't know where she is. Yeah. And so, and Stupid's had her own cat, kittens. She's had some kittens. And my dad's German Shepherd. He's been wanting a breaker, so maybe that's something I can do when I go up in July. Anyway, he's been wanting to break her. She kills every, anything that moves, including cats. And so, being on the farm and you've got corn and you know what happens when you have corn. You have mice, rats, etc. Anyway, and this dog is even dumb enough to where she attacked a skunk. Yeah, I don't have to tell you the outcome of that one. She come back shaking her head, foaming at the mouth, and stunk really bad. <laughs> I wasn't there for that, thank goodness. I was here in Florida. I couldn't smell her. <laughs> but anyway, and it could be months later and you will still smell it when she gets wet. When it rains and she gets wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness. But I think she's smart enough now. I think she learned because she barked at, she just, my dad told me she barked at one, but from a distance, from a safe distance. <laughs> Wait, it seems to me that this was going to go here. Something like this. Because I don't have it on my gypsy. Chances are I'm probably going to hide it. I don't remember. Okay. So, because this one I was playing with trying to decide how to lay everything out, and I probably still hadn't made up my mind. Okay, maybe I'll angle this one. Like this. Like this. Okay, at any rate. Okay, so I have the title Dad's Kitten. And then down here is going to be its name. Stupid. And you know, and then my kids saw at school, saw this, these pictures of the kid. Oh, he's such a, I was cutting them. I was sitting there while they were at lunch and I was cutting the pictures down two sizes that I wanted them. Anyway, I cut them all down to three and a half, or yeah, three and a half by five. And so, yeah. And they saw it. Oh, that's a cute kitten. Whose kitten is that? Oh, that's my dad's. Oh, what's its name? Um, wow. <laughs> its name is stupid. Yeah, and I t so I explained it on that. Oh man, I lost my detail. Oh, good night. Oh, there it is. I never, never went right there. <laughs> oh, it was down beside me. Anyway, so I'm explaining them that that last kit when we had a cat that we were in charge of naming them and that we don't live at home anymore. So my dad was in charge of naming it, and he named it stupid and ugly. Well, that's not very nice names. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Actually, I think I'm going to go like so. And, let's, and then move this up a little more. Yeah. <laughs> so, you got to try to explain to a bunch of four and five year olds why my dad named it stupid. Yeah. So, 
There we go. Gonna go sort of like this. I don't think that's really. Okay, maybe I had it more like this. Because it's supposed to be two photos and then one angled. So if I did it like this. Or maybe like this. No, that's gonna cover his head. That has to be there. This could be like this, and this could be like this. I don't like that either. I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to mess with it and see how I like it. Alright, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my title. Alright, and then I, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I have my title, and I have figured out how I want it. I decided to go with, I punched a hole and put an eyelet with the same ribbon that's on this one, and I'm going to have it under here, but I'm going to, in fact, I'll just go ahead and do that now. I'm going to put my my um, tag about where I want it because I'm I'm gonna have it so it sticks out because this one's gonna be angled and I want it to stick out. But I don't have room where it looks good, so I want to put glue so this. We'll stop it from going any further. And then this can go just on the edge. Okay, and so we're going to angle it to where this. this down. I'm just going to set it here. Oh. <laughs> now to get it to set here. Oops. I'm going to go past that glue. Alright. Let's go. like this instead of angling it. I think I had it angled so that way I know I am so maybe it's just because it's almost past my bedtime. <laughs> and what time is it? Don't let me know. Yep, see nine ten. Usually I go to bed about between nine between now and uh, 9.30 because I get up at, during the week, I get up at like 5 o'clock in the morning to, so I can teach my kitties, <laughs> go to work. It's going to work, reminds me. Um, <laughs> I told them that I, I don't know what we were talking about, but I told him, I said, yeah, I told my husband that, that, bye, honey, I'm going to go, I think we were singing songs and dancing and having, just having a good old time, anyway, and I told him, yeah, I told my husband, yeah, okay, honey, I'm going to work, but I told, but, then I told my kids, I said, but, I said, this really isn't work. I'm like, this is fun. I get to go outside and play. We, I get to learn my letters and my numbers. I said, this isn't work. This is fun because we get to sing and dance. And one of my kids goes, shh, don't tell your husband. Keep 
but a secret. <laughs> I was like, okay, I won't tell him. It'll be a secret. <laughs> oh, it is so funny the way they their minds work. Thomas, this doesn't really work because this is. I come here and I play outside. I get to sing and dance. This really doesn't work. It was just so funny, and they're like, "Shh, don't tell your husband." <laughs> like, keep it a secret. I'm like, "Okay, I will." <laughs> it's just so darn cute. And then I have one little boy who's got um. Oh, that's so ridiculous. Sweet. <laughs> Same sweet. <laughs> and so it's all kinds of stuff. Where every week he has a new a new word he likes to use. <laughs> as long as it's all clean, I don't mind it. Because he'll just be like, "That's so ridiculous, right, Mrs. Martin? That is so ridiculous." <laughs> oh, they are just too cute. <sighs> yes. Great to go home and just get away from them, but I tell you what, during long vacations, I do miss them. Alright, so, oh, I never told you sizes of everything. Okay, my title I got from Printing 101, and it's cut at one inch. And the title, and the, the subtitle is from All Mixed Up, and it's cut at three and a quarter inches. And the tag is the oops, the this is the orange it's a uh, shadow it's from doodle charms and it's cut at two and a half inches and then the more ivory beige color is cut at two and a quarter inches and then my photo mats are this one has to be three and three quarters by three and three quarters and then this one is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And what I did is I took a, actually I have it right here. I never really put it away. <laughs> anyway, let me get it. And then I just took this and I just positioned it on here to try to figure out, okay, which circle will, will work for the picture and have it just a little bit of the bay showing and that's what I used to do the picture and then I just turned the picture over so I can trace the circle on the back side but what I do is I hold it up to the light so I can see through um, the picture and and so I'll that way I can adjust the stencil however I need to to have it positioned where I want the picture in the stencil okay anyway so, let me zoom in a little bit. Alright, so that completes the layout, and I hope you enjoyed it. All my can't decide. Anyway, usually I have it laid out the way I want it. I don't know, but it, I think it, that this is how it was meant to be. <laughs> anyway, I this will... Anyway, this is it, and so I thank you for watching. Bye.